Seven, is now running its seven, horizontal six, configuration. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Sepiol ranked number 38 is one of the robots to watch to potentially qualify for December today. Oh, big hits on these two horizontals. Wow, Sepio really taking advantage Ooh. of its reach. Yeah, and it looks like Spartan has yet to, to move out of their starting square. Can Lucas line it up for one more hit? It looks like Spartan's trying to get out of the corner. They're really struggling, though. They're staying in their blue corner there, where they started. Sepio giving them an opportunity to kind of get it together. Looks like the uh, the right side of the drive on Spartan is not really functioning. Sepiel taking full advantage, just coming in for strategic hits, kind of away from the weapon on Spartan. And it almost looks like maybe that belt has slipped off of Sepiel's weapon. At this point, I think you're absolutely correct. So that turns them into a push bot, and they're going to have to be very strategic to make sure they avoid that very active weapon on Spartan. And all Spartan has to do, as you see there, is just spin in one direction when they get Sepiel behind them. It's the old uh, Ray Billings maneuver. Yes, the Ray Billings Wow, Sepiel has, has really wedged their weapon right in the, the body of, uh, of Spartan. It looks like both of these weapons are now down. And Spartan's weapon getting back up to speed, but they're still down on that right-hand drivetrain. You can see, it looks like maybe that wheel is a little skewed. Oh, we're... <laughs> we, see, we see something else hanging out of there. Yeah, there's some wires. I bet you one of these builders would love to have those wires inside of their robot with 60 seconds left to go. <laughs> Got good drive from Lucas Biermeyer and Sepiol. And good weapon reliability from Spartan. Yeah, great grip on those wheels from Sepio. They're really able to drive them across the box with that. That's impressive. But Spartan's drive has just not been working at any point in this fight. And uh, they've really just been kind of pushed around the box by Sepio. But look at that. Fires back up. Weapons back up. And Sepio lost its weapon pretty early on in this fight dealt some pretty nice hits beforehand. 15 seconds left. This will absolutely go to the judges. We're going to have to measure drive versus weapon. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapon, Spartan. Drive wow. to the door, I guess, if you can. This one goes to the judges. Brett giving a helping hand there, getting them to the door. So ladies and gentlemen, before we go to these judges, I just wanted everybody to know here that both food trucks yes. are here, they're open, and they are serving. It is uh, roughly 11.30. So we've got burgers and dogs, and we've got ice cream. So burgers and dogs in the front of the building, and ice cream in the back. Go on yeah. out and grab yourself some tasty treats. Um, all right, so we've got the judges here. We've got Sepiol, which uh, had so-so weapon reliability, versus Spartan, which had great weapon reliability, but so-so drive. Jack, your thoughts on this fight. Who won? Uh, I would give my vote to Sepiol. They were in control a lot more, and even though their weapon went down, they were still constantly making engagements on Spartan, and Spartan didn't really have the mobility to be the aggressor at all in that fight. All right, uh, and then on over to you, Don. Yeah, I'm going to Sepiel. Uh, they remained dominant the entire match, even after their weapon went down and they were best wedge and got a couple pins in while they were at it. All right, we've got uh, two votes for Sepiel, and then Andrew, your... Oh, oh my goodness. All right, so we have a bit of a fire back in our shop. These things tend to happen at a combat robotics event. Do they, Chris? <laughs> Should they? 
<laughs> I guess that's the better question. All right, yeah, so we, uh, we've got a, a lipo That's a lipo battery, battery fire. fire. Yeah. Ice cream and lipos. That is, that is a Saturday of fun. And we see henchman Jim Haney has uh, successfully extinguished that. Round of applause, Jim. I don't know if you can hear us from all the way in the back. But good job there for keeping us safe. I appreciate that. All right, back to the judges, if we can. Uh, I don't think that we heard from Andrew yet. Andrew, uh, we have two votes for Sepiol. Is this going to be a unanimous judge's decision? Yep, three votes for Sepiol. Uh, they were able to, even without a weapon, they were able to control the flow of the fight, and they were the aggressor, as Jack said. So 3-0 uh, and o on that one, judge's decision. All right, unanimous judge's decision for Lucas Buermeyer and Sepiol, who advances. Thank you very much, judges. I appreciate it. Spartan is a great design bot, but it's much more effective when there's 300 of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's very true. Um, all right. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we just saw like a little uh, actual fire drill there. Really, really well, well handled there. And uh, I, I have to say that I am really, really appreciative about how safe this event is. Um, so we, we may potentially have uh, the fire department on their way. And, uh, they See, they got clear. these huge fans. Now there's already so much air movement back in the in the pits. These, there's these big, uh, you know, fans that kind of take the the air. They're constantly cycling, and I think it's like every single minute. Yeah. Um, and then you know they bring in these additional fans that help scoop in some of this fresh air and, and just really kind of, uh, you know, dump out all this lipo smoke. Um, if there's one good side to the pandemic, is everyone already has a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. That is true. All right, we are headed over into box two next. We already have two robots that are, uh, that are loaded in. Wicked Wedge, Remy de Guzman's uh, kind of demented giraffe lifter bot, the purple robot here to your right, versus Steve Campbell and ZZ Bot. Long time robot, long time competitor here with Steve. So we're gonna see a pretty powerful horizontal spinner versus a control bot and a lifter wedge in Wicked Wedge. Wicked Wedge uh, traveled quite a bit to get here. Uh, Remy uh, traveled here from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And uh, in its debut here, Norwalk did fantastic. Yeah. Taking most of its uh, fights to the judges. So really good reliability, really good drive from Remy. And uh, we are going to see if uh, these four robots. <laughs> so it's a Wicked Wedge of the Midwest? Oh, good. Chris, that's a high five. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, and, uh, and Wicked Wedge, you know, obviously kind of continuing this tradition of putting uh, eyes on robots that come here to, uh, to Norwalk so that we fall in love with it. Right. Yeah. Uh, also, so your heart breaks a little bit more when they're, when they're torn apart. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Ooh, good speed right out of the box from Wicked Wedge, which drives up on top of ZZ Bot's mini bot. But it looks like it's a four bot pile up there in the blue square. And that's exactly what Wicked Wedge wants. They're, they they don't want that match to leave that corner. Yeah, and ZZ Bot's just kind of pirouetting there in the air with its weapon going. Wicked Wedge doing everything that it's supposed to do right now. Wow, good pin there from uh, from Team Wicked Wedge. Yeah, great teamwork. Both their mini bot and their main bot have high centered Steve and uh, and ZZ Bot. And it looks like ZZ Bot is trying to get out of the corner. Oh, but its weapon is still running. Oh, They're well running done, very ZZ well. Bot. Yeah, obviously the mobility goes to Wicked Wedge in this particular case. Easy Bot keeps getting itself stuck into the side guardrails of the box. Yeah, this is pin after pin for Wicked Wedge. I think I just heard ZZ Bot say, oh. there's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> oh, we see some smoke. 
That looks like it's oh, coming no! out of Wicked Wedge. Oh, that is un... un uh, uh, that might be a motor. It might unexpected. be a motor. Unexpected. Doesn't appear to be a battery, which is good. You can always tell that it's a motor smoke because it's generally a small uh, a plume and it's not a, a full-on explosion like we just right. saw back in the pits. All right, Wicked Wedge's uh, mini bot has successfully pushed ZZ Bot back into the rails. We haven't seen great zip, great speed from ZZ Bot yet in this match. With 70 seconds left to go. The Wicked Wedge, as we see that smoke that came out, it looks like we had a motor burnout. They have no control at all on the left side of their bot. Still able to drive on the right side. Not what you want when you have a control bot. Though. Right. Forty seconds left, and it's very, very quiet here in the box. Uh, that weapon wants to fire up on ZZ Bot, but they're just not being given an opportunity to do so. Let's give a big shout out to this crowd that's been filtering in. Yes. Hey, welcome to Norwalk Robot League. 20 seconds left here in this match. I see Tom Farkas in the, uh, the audience. Hi, Thank Tom. you so much for coming down from Cooperstown. I love it. 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapons, easy box. Drive to the door. This one goes to the judges. Yeah, despite that, uh, despite some of the drive issues that I experienced in the second half of the, of the match, you know the aggression and uh, control that we saw, you know. Yeah, from Wicked Wedge. Yeah, really yeah. kind of tells the story of this match. All right, let's start with uh, with you, Don. Your thoughts on this fight. Wicked Wedge versus ZZ Bot. Uh, ZZ Bot couldn't really do much. Um, they seem to be having driving issues the entire match. Uh, so Wicked Wedge was able to dominate the part until they lost their drive side. And even after that happened, uh, Wicked Wedge's Bot just came in. I'm pushing, not sure if Don so. said lost a giraffe side, but if he did, I would, you know, I really uh, appreciate that. Uh, all right, one vote <laughs> for Wicked Wedge. Thank you, Don. Uh, how about you, Jack? Your thoughts on this fight? Uh, it's going to be two votes for Wicked Wedge. Even after they lost the side of their drive, they were still able to make the weapon a non-factor on ZZ Bot and That's just right. keep control of the fight. All right, two votes for Wicked Wedge. Your thoughts, Andrew? Yeah, with the mini bots uh, both in play here, it's a little hard to watch four fight at once, but Wicked Wedge, even without their drive side, their mini bot was able to capitalize on some pins and uh, some good lips there. So yeah, I'm going with Wicked Wedge for this one. All right, unanimous judges decision for Wicked Wedge. This one came down to pinning and control. Yeah, Wicked Wedge, they really put their neck out there. All right. Oh wow, there's a whole robot out there. I oh, thought yeah. it was just a, just a battery. It's a giraffe joke? That <laughs> stuck its neck out. Chris, I appreciate that. So I'm not 